there. You want to mix this around a little bit, make sure they're not sticking together. While those potatoes are cooking, we talked a little bit about an aioli and a gremolata. Well, first for the aioli, we need to make a little bit of a fresh mayonnaise. So to do that, I'm separating out an egg, and I just crack it in half, and I go back and forth from shell to shell to get just the yolk. Some people also crack it, dump it in their hand. We whisk up that yolk, and we add a little bit of oil, and we start to form the emulsion. We continue to add little bits of oil. You don't want to add too much because it will cause the aioli to break. You can see it's starting to get thick and lighter. Let's check our potatoes. A little bit more oil. An egg yolk will consume about a half a cup of oil before it starts to get overloaded and break. Now, to flavor this aioli, we can take a piece of garlic and smash the garlic, add a little bit of coarse salt to it, and then with the tip of your knife, you can mash this into a paste. Once you get that paste formed, you put that right in the aioli. And then we'll have a nice garlic aioli. And sometimes, just to balance this out nicely, we put a little bit of lemon juice. I would squeeze the lemon juice through my hand, just a couple of drops, in case I get any pits in the lemon juice. And I don't want them into my aioli. Tiny bit of salt, a little pepper. Losing a little bit of it over here. Okay. Let's check our potatoes. what's happening in the oven. Make some room. So our turkey and our apricots are looking good. Potatoes starting to come along. ready to go. Let's make a little bit of side for our dumplings that will fry up in a minute. I'm just going to shave up a little bit of plain iceberg lettuce.
just shred it up lightly. I'm using a little bit of store-bought ponzu sauce, which is a citrus-flavored soy. I'm just going to sprinkle this lightly on this lettuce. Mix this up. That'll be for our dumplings. for our potatoes. Putting our dumplings right into the oil, along with the potatoes in the last couple of minutes of cooking. This will allow me to get two things done at the same time. We can mix the dumplings and the potatoes in the oil, but we wouldn't want to mix any kind of fish product in the oil. Let's take another plate and get our little skewers going. There's our apricot. And our turkey. Put two and two. Remember on these I said we'll put a little bit of crumpled blue cheese. Got a little paper towel here to absorb absorb out the oil. Show you the wontons compared to the dumplings. Spoon our potato out. A little bit of that aioli over the top. And we talked about gremolata, which is chopped up garlic, parsley, and lemon rind. See how nice that looks over the See, they're knocking down the door trying to get in here to eat these good foods. Folks, they find out about us cooking everywhere you go. We could be filming in my yard. We get planes coming over. Bob, you can shut that fan, I believe. Here's our manly meatballs. So we've got the turkey and the apricot wrapped in bacon. I put a little bit of the blue cheese over the top. We've got our manly meatballs. Decorate this up a little bit with some parsley. We've got our potatoes fried with a little aioli and some gremolata. And we've got our dumplings and wontons with a little shaved lettuce and some ponzu sauce. We've got four great quick starters, first courses, appetizers, whatever you want to call them, tapas. I'm Chef David Martone from Classic Time, and you've been watching Cooking Time. Thank you for viewing it.